rug. Oh, uh, it's work good right there. So we got this thing on here. What we'll do is put our seal on there. And we'll get ready for it. We'll drop our bag down in there. Gives you some good access all the way down in there. So, and what we also are going to do, we got these made, camoed them, and they sat right here. But what I had to do so I can still use this, we're going to use this, hopefully, have this, where we can get to it if we need to, lock it up. But we took these and put them behind instead of setting them on top. So you don't set level. But this back here sets level. The only way it would fit in here is I took this and put it on my belt grinder and ground each corner down. So um, that looks, you know, pretty good. So it fits right back here where this angle is off. And uh, now we can tie it down there and it'll be all good. So what I'm going to do here is put a hole here and a hole here and a hole here and a hole here. And we're going to run screws in here. And I've already got it measured. Um, everything I want out on each side just to have it even. And I measured everything to make sure it's square this way. to put these together today um, making these brackets here to go on here um, you can see how I've got that even down and I got this touching right here where the T goes together I want everything close so it'll be stable and also I'm going to drill holes in these bottom caps right here um, and then run a screw and bolt it in to where these things will attach. And I'm gonna put a big washer underneath here to hold that screw on that side. It won't take much, but that's what I'm doing to this. And I'm mounting it on this board that we fixed yesterday. And these things, this is a one and a quarter inch pipe. Once again, we got it mounted down. This board is flush and it's stable. It ain't going nowhere. Um, and these things right here, we're gonna fix these where they'll come out so far from the boat and hopefully all of that will work out and we're going to put some holes um, i may put a hole right here um, to keep this from moving with some little c clamps i'll show you the clamps that i've got here um, we're going to use these and i'll fix this thing also to where when we close it back up we can pull these things into the boat and i've got to adjust right here i'm going to add a piece of one inch pipe down here remember this is one and a quarter this is one inch pipe schedule 40 and it's strong enough i'm not worried about it breaking or anything okay guys got this I'm putting the end cap right here putting a big washer here and a bolt up through there and go through these holes right here and i've got my washer on bolt through and i'm going to put a lock washer on there it shouldn't go anywhere we're going to put this nut on there to hold that and I'll take a wrench and tighten that up so and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side and it's not that hard to do and I'm leaving my valve on the bottom side in case I need to put some air in these things because you won't be able to get to them if you've got this across the top here and that's the way that's going to be it's gonna go in there with a one inch piece of pipe. There's your elbows, there's your T. It goes back to the boat. And so 
I'm going to put the other screw in there and fix this and you'll see what I've got. And we're also going to give you the measurements on these pieces right here going down to this and these measurements right here on this and give you what and tell you what we bought for each boat. And we're going to do that and we'll get back with you. This is a heavy duty clear PVC pipe glue. Heavy duty, about 375 a can. But I'm using that. I'm going to put these. Right here. I want them turned down. When you put those things on there, they are on there. And I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on this side and just get it started. And then get this side right here. And I want to get these things on here quick. So now I got them on and I'm wanting to push them down. This one right here is going to be stubborn. Trying to dry. Um, I'm just taking a block of wood here, knocking these down, and knocking them in like this. So they're on. They're going to be attached right here, hanging down on this side. You can see that. And they can come all the way out. And we're going to give you more video on this. We may have two videos, a part one and a part two. And um, my video man, my son-in-law, he's not here. He's coming in a little bit. We're going to try this thing out on the pond. Okay, guys, this is where I'm at. I just got through putting my outriggers on, and I've got to glue these in, but first off, we want to make sure they're going to work. And I got these on here to keep them from coming out, and I'm going to fix it where they can come out at least a foot on each side of the boat. And got this tied in right here at the back, and I got this mounted in. I really like that. I went ahead and drilled my holes, put my screws in there, and... That's, that's going to be pretty neat. That's waterproof. All right, guys. We got new paddles for this Tahoma boat. We're going to try these out, too, and let you know how they are. I personally didn't like the Tahoma paddles. They're okay, but they're kind of weak, and I was just not too fond of them. But I know these paddles, from what I hear, are good here. For the money, we got a good deal on them. Um, let me get this off here. These are called Crooked Creek paddles. And I went on Walmart and eBay. On eBay, that was anywhere from about $45 to $65. And they had good reviews on them, but I went on Walmart. This is the eight foot paddle. And we needed something longer than what we had and what came with the boat. And uh, these are eight foot paddles. It's got your little water floppers on here to take the stuff off. But um, these were $25 on Walmart. And uh, the seven foot ones were 30, 36 dollars, I believe it was, 36 97 And I was like, why is the eight foot cheaper? Well, after I ordered these, the next day I went back on there, they had went up on the eight foot ones, and they were like 30 some dollars as well. They were more than the seven foot ones, but so I was tickled to get these. They seem to be made a little better. I think they weigh about 2.9 pounds for right at three, not quite. We're gonna try them, getting ready to try this boat here as well. There's no doubt I believe we can stand up in it. I just don't have no pull rope. Let me see if I can stop this thing. Alright, standing up with these on just to see how it's going to do. Got to get me a pull rope. Alright. That works. I believe I could cast, throw a fishing rod. But we will pull them out uh, probably at least four or five more inches. I'm sure that's going to make it more stable. That does, that, that makes a big difference. I would not have done this before, I promise you. Okay guys, we moved this back behind our hatch. So I just want to show you, I'm not going to have no problem getting in here and getting my stuff or getting the fishing rod out or whatever. So I've got plenty of room. I'm sitting like this. This thing ain't going nowhere. But I am going to open this up, and I have no more holes drilled in it right now. But I'm going to see if this makes a little bit of a difference. 
and we'll see. that will make a difference. I'm going to stand up without a rope. That makes a difference. I can feel it. Oh yeah, it's got, it's got good pressure. I'd say just putting more air in these, just a little bit, you don't want to overdo them. But those things work well. I'm pleased with it. Okay. Trying to show you a couple of different videos here. We got these things on here, they are working. And we pulled them out, it seems like it made it more stable. About maybe six inches from here, I'd say about a foot out from the boat's all you need. We got these things locked in good. So uh, we got to go back and glue them. And I just want to show you that part. So if you build these, you're looking at about $50. We're going to write down everything. Uh, my son in law, he'll write it all down for you y'all can see how to fix it. We just want to show you because a lot of people make this stuff and then they don't never show it. Well, I sold my kayak. We ain't planning on selling ours, but uh, we just we just want to show you that these things do work. So you can see right here. Okay guys, yes our take on what we've done so far, we like it and we're going to do some more stuff to it and we'll show you, we're almost done, but we've got a couple other things to do. Um, we've got to add our rod holders on there and um, how did you like it? I, it's definitely a lot more uh, stable for sure, even just with it where it is now, with where they are now, but then like you said, you know, you put them out maybe a few more inches, It's that, that's not going anywhere. And uh, so I'm definitely excited to try that, try standing up, fishing off of that thing. And uh, yeah, like you said, we still got to put the fin on it on the bottom. So we'll do that. And, um, I mean, yeah, I'm just, I'm loving it. I'm loving all these modifications. They're really, really awesome. Yep, and the Striker 4 Garmin, I hadn't gotten to try it yet. I do have to hook my wiring up, but I believe I'm going to like this from the reviews on it. It does have GPS on it, so that's something that'll be interesting. And I did take it off when we was trying this while ago. Um, after. I got out and let him in. I took it off the boat and I said, let me take this thing off. I know he can balance himself, but I don't know. This thing probably wouldn't do too good if it sunk in the water, but it was great. We had a good time and um, today's cloudy. We've had a lot of rain, but thank God for the rain. And um, if you will, give us, uh, subscribe to us, give us some likes and we'd appreciate that because we're going to try to do some more stuff and just let you know if it does work. Like I say, a lot of people will put stuff on the internet and they say it works, but if you don't see them use it, don't see them try it, then that, that right there doesn't tell me as much. It's not that I don't believe them, but I want to see it work. And sometimes people get in them and they just don't have the camera set up right and you can't see what's going on while they're in there. And um, even if you don't stand up, it's just more stable, it's more safe, more secure. If you're out on a lake somewhere and you got a boat zipping by, I believe you can handle it, but you still have to be careful. And uh, we're just looking forward to going to the river. Our first thing, probably camp out, go down the river that morning and do some fishing and stuff. But we'll get that on there for you too. And maybe go to the lake, do some crappy fishing as well. We're gonna get that on there. I know you're excited, right? I am, I love fishing. Oh yes, <laughs> praise the Lord.